trustworthy companies, and it seems to be working toward the bottom line. One analyst described the firm as the fastest growing less than truckload carrier in the entire industry. The stock up 29% year over year. Here with us now in a Fox Business exclusive, Earl Compton, the chairman at Old Dominion, and David Compton, the CEO and president of Old Dominion. Oh, Dad, you must be so proud of you. I sure am. Isn't that nice? Now, I want our viewers to know you both started working at the company respectively, when you were 14 years old. But of course, it was a much different atmosphere back then, Earl. Today, though, you've come out with numbers. You missed on both the top and bottom line, but I, I also think this is important to stress. You had incredible numbers, the best revenue numbers in the history of the company. So, David, I'll begin with you. Did the analysts just get a little too greedy and excited about Old Dominion Freight? I don't, I don't know. Go figure. We, we delivered a, a quarter with nearly 18% top-line growth, 42% uh, year-over-year earnings uh, growth, and this is part of a, a long-term growth story that goes back you know, to when we went public. Uh, we, we were a $155 million company uh, 20 years ago, and here we are at $2 billion. Our stock price has gone from $2.57 to $45 to $48 a share now. So, so I, I'd say we've, uh, we've done pretty well. And, and uh, this was just one more record in a long string of records that we've uh, put out for the last decade. Some pretty smart money people think your stock is worth holding. BlackRock is your largest sort of institutional shareholder. But reach back to the, to the earlier days, Earl. And, uh, you know, at, during a time right now where people are wondering, should I start a company? Is it too difficult? You probably faced some pretty tough times back then, didn't you? What was the secret sauce that helped the success come well, out? You know, it's the relationship that we have with our employees. Uh, we call it the OD family spirit. And it started way back when mom and dad started the company. Uh, you know, dad was the truck driver and mom did the work on the dining room table, the paperwork. So they hired their first truck driver and actually they knew him very well. He was their buddy. So uh, uh, actually for the first 20 years of our company's history, uh, the first two generations, being mom and dad and then my brother and me, we knew every single employee uh, personally. And even some of the families we knew, and we became so close that it was almost like a, a love affair uh, without sex. <laughs> uh, but, anyway, uh, it, it, we just had a, a feel for our employees that, that, that I don't believe the average company has got. And we have been able to maintain this relationship right up to the present time. And, uh, and David's generation is the one that, that uh, called this family relationship the, the OD family, family spirit. But we take good care of our employees and, and they reciprocate with loyalty. Uh, yes, with loyalty and productivity. Our people are so productive and they are helping us with our customers. Right. Everyone is so enthusiastic about the customers that, anyway, we, what we uh, have got, that's why we are, have adopted the, the tagline that, that uh, uh, we're helping the world to keep promises. Well, as a delivery and a freight organization, you, you guys are, are, you got the southern accent and the whole down home and family thing, but you got your, your margins are three times that of the industry. How do you do that, David? Well, it, I'd say it's uh, uh, two or three ingredients. Number one uh, relates to the strategic vision that we created for the company years ago, and a every year we do a strategic plan. Uh, but secondly, uh, it comes to uh, the service product that we put together uh, and staying focused on core business principles and the service is, is, is absolutely uh, crucial. Uh, the, very, the lowest claim ratio in the, in the industry, uh, the highest on-time service record, well, you but all of this is because of what Earl said. Right. And it's all because of the, the people that make it happen. You know, in the end, and, and we've just got a few more seconds left here, you're also good at looking forward. You went for, to 401ks versus pensions. You're, you're a modern company, yet you're not on natural gas powered trucks yet. Uh, you know, we just had Greg Swenton yesterday of Rider Systems. They're trying slowly but surely to get ahead of that curve. Will you? 
They're too expensive right now. And uh, I heard just the other day that, that the diesel, the new diesel trucks are so clean that the natural gas trucks are not as clean as the new diesel. Diesel's expensive. If we look at a chart, you can see it's punching back up, David, to the 2007 highs, though. But the, the uh, natural gas industry is not ready for the Class A tractor-trailer market. There's not a distribution network uh, across the country yet that would, uh, that would make it economically feasible. David, Earl, it's great to have you here on uh, Bring Your Kids to Work Day. Old Dominion Freight yeah. Line is terrific. Well, thank you. You're thank welcome. Thank you thank very you. much. Don't fire your dad, even if he knows it's <laughs> There's no, no chance of that. No chance of that. All right, you just heard the chairman of Old Dominion. <laughs> gas, uh, powered, it, it,